Should you speak for free, yes or no? This is the question. Hi, Simone Vincenzi here from GTEx, third experts into authorities. And today I want to discuss about if you should speak for free or always get paid to speak. I want to share with you my opinion and also where this conversation came from. Um, I was attending an event from the Professional Speaking Association and there was this debate. Should you speak for free? or should you always get paid to speak? And so there was one international speaker that did a lot of paid work and is doing a lot of paid work that said, no, you definitely never, never, ever, ever have to speak for free because that's damaging your reputation, that's damaging your brand, that's damaging whatever you do. Then uh, other people, there was the other person in the audience that said, oh, you know what? You should speak for free, but only when is relevant. And actually, there are some free speaking opportunities that can lead to paid work. So this is my take on this. And not everyone is going to like it, but hey, yo, that's based on the experience that I have. Every speaking gig is a paid speaking gig for me. Why is that? Because I don't know who is going to be in the audience. Now, I had speaking engagements where there were four, five, six people in the audience. And uh, I made 20, 30,000 pounds just from those sm small speaking engagements. Why? Because they were the relevant people and uh, the connection or the um, uh, relationships that I built then led to that particular amount of money or that particular client. So if you know, this is my rule of thumb. If you are the beginning, definitely speak for free all the time. Why? Because you need to build your, your showreel, you need to build your confidence, you need to build your skills out as a speaker. And if you don't do that, guess what? No one is ever going to pay you if you're not a great speaker. That's number one. Secondly, speak for free when you know who is your target audience. Where is your target audience? What is your end goal? Because uh, if you can then leverage and monetize the relationships that you build with that particular speaking engagements and the money is coming from the audience and not from the clients in that way, then again, that's a paid speaking engagement. So look at what is your model? Here's, what is your audience? Sometimes even free speaking gigs, you can get great footage, you can get great testimonials, you can get great pictures and uh, the event organizer will pay for that instead of you having your own videographer coming in. And then now you spend a thousand pounds or a thousand dollars to get professional pictures, video and, and so on. So think about what is your goal? What is your end goal? What is your market? And in my opinion, every speaking engagement is a paid speaking engagement. That's why it doesn't matter where I go. It doesn't matter what I do because I believe this. Uh, even if I don't get paid up front, I always have someone paid me or I always have a relationship that I meet or something that comes as a result of that particular engagement. It happens all the time. And I do about 200 speaking engagements every single year. So I have a lot of proof around that. So that's my view. Um, I would love to hear your opinion as well. So should you speak for free? Yes or no? Do you agree with what I said? I'm looking forward to hear your opinion. Just put it down here in the comment. Now, I finished a filming day with a client, that's why I'm here in this room, and I'm off to go to a barbecue, so I'll uh, talk to you later, and if you haven't downloaded our expert business checklist, I'll put the link in the comment as well, make sure you download it straight away. I'll see you later, ciao, ciao, ciao!